Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Farming Simulator 2019 video. It's been quite a while since I've actually played this game, uh, but today we're going to be seeing how um, how quickly we can do some sugar caning, sugar cane stuff. Um, so we need to buy a sugar cane harvester, we need to buy a sugar cane planter, we need to buy some tractors, we need to buy all the things, and um, if we can do it with 1.25 million, um, that's amazing, because I've never actually done sugar cane before. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so it was obvious. We needed one of these things. We we did. We needed one of these. Uh, this is a sugar cane harvester thingamabobby, and uh, it's huge. It was also $349,000, uh, which is quite a lot of money. Um, but we needed it, so that's okay. Um, now what we need to figure out is if we press escape and we go to here, we need to see where buys, uh, sugarcane. Because I don't know. Uh, here. So if we go to Port Northwest, that is, of course, the other side of the map. Um, because why wouldn't it be? Um, but actually, to be fair, what's the second most? Because if it's similar, then Port Southeast. Ooh, well that's a little bit closer, I think. Hold on, where's Port Southeast? Just here. So... If we buy, I don't know, let's say this field. Is it flat? Is it a flat field? Field 31. Uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, we're going to buy this field and we're going we're gonna to do it here. So, if we press uh, escape, we're going to press X. We're going to buy this, which also buys the shop, interestingly enough. That's good. All right, nice. Now we need a harvester. I think I'm a bobby. Um, so actually, sugarcane technology, here it is. We're going to go for the biggest one. Yes, and that is going to be the planter. It also seems to, um, uh, thingamabobby as well. It seems to plow and stuff, uh, all by itself, which is interesting. So if we can buy a quick little tractor to deal with that, do, 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 we're going to go with, how about we go with, uh, let's go with the Massey Ferguson. Yes, um, let's go with a strong engine. There we go. Uh, and that should be good enough. Alright, cool, good. Bam! Let's get that working. Come on! Here we go. Oh, dude, I love this game so much. Anyway, uh, just attach this on. We'll take it to the field. We'll get it sewing. Uh, and then eventually, we'll be able to harvest it with that big harvester we've got. Do, 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 do. Do we drive on the right? I think we drive on the right. But we're literally just here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. We, we met no traffic. Um, we are just going to hire a dude to do it. Because at the minute, there's, there's wheat on the field. Um, which we don't need. So, we're just gonna go over it. Yeah. Oh, he's lowered it, and he's going! There we go. So, it, it does, like, weird divots. As if it's plowing. But it's also planting, uh, trees, too. So, that's good. That's very good. We might as well drive this behemoth over there as well. So, let's turn it around. We can do some off-roading. That's fine. Uh, I really want to know how this works. I really do, because I've not used it before. So that's kind of the whole reason that I'm doing this video. All right, we'll just leave it here. Uh, and because we need to sell the stuff once we've once we've actually harvested it, uh, we're going to be using a truck. We're going to go with the man truck. And um, we're going to make it frantic colors, of course. So case, that's fine. And black. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and buy it. And we also need a tipper for the stuff. But if we go in sugarcane technology... Here it is, we can have one of these, which is 66,000 liters. That's a lot, that's a lot of liters. Here we go. Customize it, also make it frantic colors. There we go, case and onyx. There we go. Fantastic, good. All right, let's go ahead and attach those together and we'll take it over there. Because I'm pretty sure that the way these trailers work is they tip over sideways, I think. I'm pretty sure they tip over sideways. I could be wrong, though. Here, look. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, look at that. There we go. So, that's amazing. Um, I can't remember how that actually works or why that's a thing, but um, it is a thing. So, we're going to have to use it. So, we'll just drop this off here. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to game settings. We need to speed it all the way up to full speed. Um, we're going to go ahead and do periodic plowing off, lime off. We don't want to deal with any of this stuff right now. Plant withering, off. Uh, we're going to go with plant growth fast. There we go. No weeds. And um, yeah, that's all good. Nice. 
So we've literally got everything we need. We got the uh, the sewing machine. We've got a little tractor. We've got the thing that sells it, and we got the thing that coats it. And that's I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all we need. Um, it is fully fertilized. I don't know why it didn't do these pieces. I'm not sure why it didn't it didn't do those, but um, that's fine. That's fine. So now we just have to wait, and uh, we'll see we'll see how it grows. All right, okay, so I've been waiting for a little while. Uh, these are the stages of growing. So, of course, when it is not growing, it's this. When it's, uh, this is its first stage, which is this one. This is its second stage. This is its third stage. This is its fourth stage and its final stage, uh, which is actually um, the stage where we can now start using the harvester. So, we're going to go ahead and hire a dude to do the harvester ring. -ring. Uh, and we're going to follow it around with the truck because I think that's what we need to do. I can't actually remember. Anyway, we're going to unfold this thing first. So there we go. That's it unfolded. Uh, we're going to drive over and we're just going to press H here, I guess. And hopefully... No, that didn't work. Press H here. No, that didn't work. Press H here. No, that didn't work either. Uh, lower harvester V. Okay. Fold harvester is okay. That's all good. Uh, let's bring the truck over. And uh, we'll try and hire then, maybe, because... I guess it'll try and pipe it into here? Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> I genuinely have no idea what, what this will do. Uh, but we'll leave that there. That's good. Press H. No, it doesn't want to work. I don't... I don't understand. B? Oh, that's why. Okay, so it's raining, so you can't harvest. That's the same thing with, with everything. Uh, so I guess we'll just wait for it to not be raining. <laughs> Oh, I guess I might as well show you guys something else as well, why we've got a lot of money, or enough money. Uh, if we go into here, we can actually go into sugarcane technology, and we could buy one of these, which is a harvester that goes on the back of a tractor. Now, if we've got that, we can attach this to the back of it, which is a trailer, and it literally dumps it straight from harvesting, straight into the trailer, and then you can, you can dump the trailer. Uh, which actually seems like a cool idea. Um, we're not gonna do that, though. Because we don't actually have enough money. No, we do. We do have enough money. Um, so, yeah, in theory, this is quite good. However, uh, it's very slow because it's only a meter wide. Whereas the actual thing itself, uh, this thing, goes out to how much? Uh, two meters wide. Um, so it costs like 300,000 more. Um, but, you know, it's a meter wider. It's double the size. <laughs> uh, which, yeah, sounds dumb actually now that I think about it. Um, but the rain appears to be stopping, so if we press H now, yep, it's gonna work. Okay, and there we go. It's chopping. It's doing it. Amazing. Yes. All right, so if we set our um, speedo thingamabobby to be like six or something, uh, then it should keep cutting, hopefully. Okay, let's set our speedo to six. There we go. All right, off we go. All right, maybe less than six. It appears to be going very, very extremely slowly. Extremely slowly. What is it doing? Why are you doing it? Why are you going so slow? It has to like remove the tops. So like the tops get cut off and then it eats the bottoms and then we get it all dumped in here. Easy. Yeah, it's super slow though. Why is it so slow? Oh, it also dumped something on the ground. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Um, I don't think we can pick it up, though. I don't think it's stuff... I don't think it's stuff we can pick up. Although it might be. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, look, it's chucking the stuff up there. Straight onto the ground. It's, it's like throwing it back over. That's really weird. That's very, very weird. Whoa, now it's going quick. Now it's going really quick. Oh, amazing. Here we go. Yeah, so it goes like the normal speed of a harvester, which is like six or so, uh, and it's it's going really quickly, which is amazing. Yes, but again, it is only two meters wide, so uh, we gotta go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down because it doesn't have a trailer hitch. Uh, however, it is something you can put on it, which is interesting because if you put a trailer hitch on it, none of the trailers fit. So, yeah, I, I don't know why you would do it. It, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so with one row done... Oh, whoops! Okay, I absolutely kapowed that thing right there. But, um, with one row done, we've got 9,000, pretty much. 9,000 sugarcane, which is... Is enough? Maybe? Is that what we're wanting? I don't know. 
Hold on, let me just try and shove it back over. No, that's not going to work. All right, okay. Well, we got to reverse under it. Um, but yeah, the downside to this is you constantly have to have uh, a machine. A machine and the trailer uh, driving around with it, which kind of sucks a little bit. And also, sometimes it stutters like this. I, I don't really know what it's doing right now. It's trying its best, but um, its best just isn't good enough. There we go. All right, cool. So it got to the end. It is still dumping stuff into my trailer. That's beautiful. And it turns around on the spot. Now, uh, the good thing about this is that I can turn around in my truck. Do, 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 do. I can turn around in my truck. And because the thing on the back of it swings around, unlike the other harvesters, um, we can actually go on both sides. So, why is it so angled? This is weird. This is very strange. Okay. Do we have to put my thing underneath the thing in my bobby? Hold on. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. Because it doesn't fire it. it. It sort of drops it. Which is interesting. Okay. So I got to be very close. Is it dumping it on the ground? Is it? Am I catching this? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Anyway. Uh, we're going at the right speed. I've tipped it a bit. So that's good. And uh, it should be catching all of it, which is nice. It does appear that our trailer is... Uh, what are we doing? And what is this? I don't understand. Why is this happening? But to be fair, depending on how big your trailer is, um, you can actually pull multiple trailers, which is, is very interesting. Uh, but what we're, we're going to do is, because we're at, 20, we're at 21%, uh, we're just going to go sell it now, and uh, we'll see how much money we get. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we sell it down here on our right, which I don't know how to get into the docks, but uh, I'm assuming we go, like, right here? Yep, okay, I've came in at the wrong angle completely, but that's fine. Here we go. We're going to go straight inside, and we need to get to the dumpy place, which is just around the other side of this building, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Yep, here it is. So to tip it out, we need to just tip it over. I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Here we go. Dip it over. We're getting a little bit of money. 3,400. So you times that by five. And um, you get your amount for a full trailer. So for a full trailer, you get 17,000. Which is not 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 amazing. Um, it's also not terrible. But um, because you have to drive up and down uh, next to it all the time. It does suck a little bit. All right, okay, so what did we actually figure out then? Um, one, the, this thing, what? It missed some. No, it's already planting again. What has happened? Oh, it replants itself, so you don't even need to sow it again. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. All right, well, I'm glad that I waited a long time to, uh, to figure that out. Uh, it basically replants itself, which is, is amazing. Um, but at the same time, oh, I guess that means you don't have to plant any extra seeds or anything. You don't... You literally plant it on a field, and then and then you cut it every so often, and then that's it. That's actually, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, what we actually figured out was it isn't very expensive um, to actually sell. It is expensive to buy the machinery to begin with, but if you want to drive up and down the fields with your harvester, then um, it's actually quite a fun thing to do. So um, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys want to see any more of this, let me know in the comments down below, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.